OnePager offers you a variety of options to get your chart out and into the hands of your audience. The examples in this video assume that you have a one-pager chart that is no more than a single page. If you need to create a one-pager chart that spans multiple pages, you'll want to watch our video on multi-page charts after finishing this video. Prior to sending your chart to others, you'll want to make sure that it's a reasonable size and will fit nicely into PowerPoint, PDF, or however you plan to distribute it. To check this, go to Home, Chart Properties, and click on the Page Layout tab. The document set up at the top indicates the one-pager chart's overall width and height. The height of the document is determined by the number of rows in your chart and the height of each of those rows. For example, this chart has a row height of 3 eighths of an inch and has a total of 5 rows, so its overall height is only 2 and a half inches. If you double your row height to 3 quarters of an inch, the total document height will increase to a little more than 4 inches because each row in your chart now takes a little bit more space, like this. Now, let's see how this principle applies to a chart with lots of rows. Here, we've imported 50 tasks, and therefore 50 rows, and the default row height is 3 eighths of an inch. To make the chart less tall and skinny, we can reduce the row height from 3 eighths of an inch to a quarter inch. When we do that, we probably also want to reduce the height of the tasks themselves. Otherwise, the tasks could end up being bigger than the rows that contain them. Click on the Taskbars tab and reduce the default taskbar height from 0.25 to 0.20 inches. If you want your chart to fit cleanly to a single page, you will want to adjust your row height to something reasonable based on the total number of rows in your chart, or adjust the width of your document, which we'll discuss shortly. If you have lots of tasks, you may be better off creating a multi-page chart, which again, is covered in another video. Now let's talk about the page setup at the bottom of the Page Layout tab. These settings tell OnePager what size piece of paper you want to put your OnePager chart on when you export or print it. In this example, let's stick to a standard letter-sized piece of paper in landscape format, which is 11 inches wide and 8.5 and inches tall. Let's revisit our chart that only has five tasks. If you go to the Page Layout tab of the ribbon and click on the Print Preview button, you'll see how your chart is going to fit on whatever size paper you've selected. In this case, the chart is not very tall, so it leaves a lot of white space at the bottom of the piece of paper. On the flip side, let's look at the larger chart that has 50 tasks and see how it appears in Print Preview. This chart is taller than it is wide, so on a letter-sized piece of paper, it's going to leave white space on the right even after we reduce the row height. All of this is normal, but if you want your chart to fit perfectly on a specific size piece of paper or PowerPoint slide, you'll want to fine-tune your document settings so that the overall aspect ratio of your chart is similar to the aspect ratio of your piece of paper. The dimensions don't need to be identical, they just need to be proportional. In the case of the chart with too much white space on the right, we can increase the width of the document to 17 inches. Now, in Print Preview, the chart does a much better job of filling the page. The easiest way to share your chart is to hit the Copy button on the Home tab of the ribbon. This will put your one-pager chart onto the clipboard in clip art format so that it can be pasted into other applications without getting grainy or fuzzy. Again, if you want your one-pager chart to fit cleanly in a 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 aspect ratio PowerPoint slide, you'll want to make sure that your overall document dimensions are close to that same aspect ratio. Apart from doing a copy-paste, you can also do a file, export, and then save your one-pager chart to a number of popular formats, including PowerPoint and PDF, or image formats like PNG, JPEG, or Bitmap. We generally recommend PowerPoint and PDF for exporting, as these are the highest quality outputs. If you do need to export to an image, PNG is the best of the three, as it's a relatively small file size, but doesn't get too grainy or fuzzy very easily. When exporting, take note of the page range options. 
While this primarily has to do with export of charts with more than one page, these settings do still have an effect on single page charts. When you choose an all pages export, one pager will act as if it's printing your chart to paper. If your document size isn't proportional to your paper size, you'll get white space like we see in this PDF. On the other hand, if you don't want one pager to add white space to the outer areas of the chart as if it's being printed, choose the entire document option. When you choose entire document, one pager will export your chart in exactly the dimensions you've defined and it won't consider page size as a part of the equation. You'll get an export that is exactly the same size as your chart with no white space. If you have a multi-page chart, the All Pages mode is usually more appropriate as it will create a PowerPoint or PDF consisting of several pages based on how your chart has already been set up. If you are interested in creating charts that have more than one page, please watch our more detailed video on this topic. For more information, please review our other videos, or you can visit onepager.com forward slash support, or email us at support at onepager.com.